Spectre Divide has been out for almost three weeks at this point by the time this video is live, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. But that doesn't mean I don't have things I dislike or have criticism with the game. Yo, what's popular YouTube? It's your boy Elixir, and today I'm going to talk about what I like and don't like about Spectre Divide. This is going to be mostly a feedback video for the devs, but I'm curious about your thoughts on the game, what you think so far, what they could improve, and if you agree with me or not. So with that out of the way, subscribe for Maple, and let's get into it. I'm going to start off the video with the cons, and what I hope will get changed. This way the video is ended on a positive note. So first up, my biggest gripe with the game is how the camera is positioned. In other FPS titles like Valorant, CS, Siege, etc, the camera is positioned at eye level, whereas in Spectre Divide, it's at neck level. This causes variations for the headshot height depending on how close or far your target is. Here's a little example. As you can see, it's not a big change as the distance changes, but when you're in close range, it can be hard to tell if you're head level or not. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've died thinking I'm on head level when I'm not. If the devs could change the camera position now rather than later, I think this would be a better change in the long run. The next biggest thing for me is the economy. It feels like the economy in the game is too inflated, even for the losing team. The amount of times I've been with a squad and played against teams that are able to buy full armor and trident combo with some util or... Tempest combo with half armor and util after not winning the pistol round or getting plant down is crazy. In no world should the people that win be punished for winning the round because that's what it feels like at times. If you win a pistol round, you're forced to buy up to compete with the enemy team and if you're lucky they didn't buy a thing, now you're stuck with a tier 1, 2, or 3 combo while the enemy team gets full armor for free and can buy tier 4 weapon. I can understand if the devs don't want one side's team rolling the opposite side, but I think giving the team that wins the pistol a little more advantage in the second round would be the better play, especially if the losing team gets full armor on the third round. The only other thing I could think to change to balance this a little more is give half armor for free, but make the losing team pay 450 for full armor after a three round loss. Moving on, as for the last big thing I'd like to give feedback on is the guns. Some guns feel really good and unique to use while others feel the same. In my opinion, the Blackout feels like a Crusader with a suppressor while the Tempest feels like the Reaver stuck on semi-automatic. I don't think much needs to be done to the guns in order to give them a more unique feel, but the idea I have in mind would be to change the sounds on them to be a little more punchy. As for some of the weapons, I think changing the damage ever so slightly would make them feel better as well. The amount of times I've done 149 to someone with the buzz saws with two headshots and one body shot is annoying. Doing that much damage and leaving them with 1 HP feels like you're being punished for good aim. Anyway, that's my three biggest criticisms for the game right now. There's a bunch of little things too, like performance issues, career not being open, ranks potentially being inflated from placements, etc. But I will say, the devs have already stated that career is coming in 4 plus months, I'm assuming when Season 1 launches. The performance issues were addressed in the most recent patch by the time this video goes live. So here's hoping it actually is improved by the time you guys see this because I'm writing the script and recording it before the patch goes out. Now for the things I do like about the game because the devs deserve some praise for what they got here. My favorite thing about this game is obviously the duality aspect of the game. Being able to throw a flash and flash yourself in as pinnacle or refrag yourself or even throw yourself forward with a Morgan smoke is really fun. Especially when you're able to make big plays off of it. I also really like the art style. The 80s anime style looks really different compared to other games and I know it can be a point of contention for many, but I personally like it. I've only heard people say they either love it or hate it, but I haven't come across anyone saying they just like it. It also opened up the doors to some cool and unique skins that the design team could come up with. They've already had a few bangers come out, but I'm sure they have plenty of others cooking up in the background. And speaking of skins, the devs even pulled back on their pricing of their skins and refunded some of the coins for those who bought the packs before they reduced the pricing. People will say, you can see where the devs are focused, but I personally don't think this is a factual statement. I've talked with one of these devs because I was having ping and internet spiking issues, and I worked with them to get them data. They sent it over to the right teams and have even told me they're working on getting it fixed. They're not focused on only getting you to buy skins in this game. They're focused on bringing you a good product and an even better experience. I even asked in the official Discord if they plan on supporting Vulkan, which is a graphics rendering service like DirectX 11, 
and they asked me if it's something I'd want. I told them I think it would make the game run better on lower end hardware and give people with cheaper or older PCs a nice little performance boost. The dev told me they're going to move it up in production. If you really think they're focused on only making money with skins, I urge you to go sit in their Discord while one of the devs are active and you'll see they're focused on the actual game itself versus the skins. As for the other stuff I like, it's a bunch of little things that make this game good in my opinion. The trail for where throwables will land on the minimap, the way only having two bodies can get you to certain places, the amount of brain power you have to use, and the way you can use two bodies to get kills, create pressure, or make plays. It blends into this unique experience you won't get anywhere else. As for the current state of the game, I think it's in a relatively good spot right now. When Rainbow Six Siege launched, it had barely any players, but Ubisoft remained dedicated to the game and now it's grown to a point where it's 75,000 plus daily players on Steam alone. Understand this is an indie development studio working on their first game and they don't have all the resources that a big company like Valve, Riot, or Ubisoft would have. So if you're a dev watching this, keep up the good work. You guys have a great product on hand and I know this game can grow over time, especially with how you guys listen to feedback and act on it immediately. And if you're a player or someone who's played or is interested in trying it out but was turned away because of some things you've heard, then go back and try it again. If the duality feature really isn't for you, then it isn't. It's like Siege, only a certain type of person can be asked to put up with all the insane angles and random wall bang headshots that come with that game. However, if you're new, the two bodies will take some time to get used to, and learning to position them in a way that doesn't get them killed or allows you to get some information will take time to learn. Give the game a try, you might be pleasantly surprised by it. Anyway, that's enough for me. I'd like to hear what you guys think down in the comments about my thoughts and about the game in general. If you have criticism, then leave it down in the comments and make sure it's constructive. Subscribe for Maple.